Look, do I have to break up with her in person? Can't I do it over the phone? I, I have no stomach for these things. You should just do it like a Band-Aid. One motion, right off! There has to be another way. Maybe I could arrange a kidnapping. I'll be walking with her down the street. Suddenly, a black sedan pulls up. These two guys hop out, they grab me, they pull me into the car. As we speed away, I'll, I'll scream out, Marlene, I love you! I'll move to another town. I'll lay low for a couple of years. <laughs> yeah. I come back, I'll have a beard. If I bump into her, I'll go, I'm sorry, I'm sure what we had together was very special, but I have no recollection of it. You should just do it and get it over with. You'll feel great afterwards. It's like taking a huge... Hi. Hi. Ask this guy to let me in. Come on. It's the driver's responsibility. Put on your signal and move in like a man. You don't ask permission. Would you just facilitate, please? Excuse me, sir. My friend has no spine. Could you let us in? All right, go ahead. Did you give him the thank you wave? Yeah, I wrote him a note. I threw it in the car. <laughs> Could you stop that smacking? George, I want you to taste this cantaloupe. Oh, no, no thank you. It's the best cantaloupe I ever had. No, I'm really. Your piece. No, no, thanks. Well, <laughs> Jerry, tell him how good this cantaloupe is. Very good cantaloupe. Oh. <laughs> so that's it? Yeah. You're out. Except for one small problem. I, uh, <laughs> I left some books in her apartment. <laughs> so? Go get them. No, oh, no, no, no. I, I can't go back there. Jerry, it's so awkward, and it, you know, it could be dangerous sexually. Something could happen. I'd be right back where I started from. So forget about the books. Did you read them? Well, yeah. What do you need them for? <laughs> no, they're books. What is this obsession people have with books? They put them in their houses like they're trophies. What do you need it for after you read it? They're my books. Hey, here you go, pal. Huh? This is delicious. Yeah. I swear to God, this is the best melon I ever tasted. Mm. So you want me to go get the books, is that it? Oh, good, they're too big. Oh, hold it a second, let me look. I'm flapping here, it's too much. It's... Well, they're wearing them big now. It's a nice pant. Pant? Jerry, you don't have shoes on, and plus you're not even wearing the right shirt. I'm not getting them. If you weren't here, I would have taken them off in the dressing room. You know, we've got to do this again sometime real soon. You got my wallet? Yes, and I've got the book. Can you back off a little? You're tailgating? <laughs> I think I've seen enough. Well, I, I might have something in the back. The back? They never find anything in the back. If they had anything good in the back, they'd put it out in the front. Why don't they open up an entire store for the back, call it just back? <laughs> All back, no front. You walk in the front, you're immediately in the back. <laughs> Look, Elaine, Thai car wash. <laughs> I just read that. That's terrific. Her father wrote that. Alton Bettis is your father? Yeah. I always felt he deserved a wider audience. I'm not so sure he wants one. <laughs> hey, don't forget Sunday, okay? You and George are coming, right? Hotel Westbury, 8 o'clock. I guess I'm coming. I mean... What? What? You don't want to go now? No, I'll go. Uh, I'm going. No, Jerry, you have to. I need a buffer. You know, I haven't seen my father in a while, and, you know... I'm worried I won't be able to talk to him. He's such a great writer. Frankly, I prefer the company of nitwits. <laughs> so that's why we're not together anymore. Uh, uh. What is this? This is beautiful. These jackets never fit me right. Right on. Mm. Wow. This is soft suede. This may be the most perfect jacket I have ever put on. How much is it? <gasps> oh, my 
my God. Bad? <gasps> Very bad? You have no idea. I have some idea. No idea. I've got a ballpark. There is no park, and the team has relocated. Let's see that. That is high. <laughs> Oh, man, that is a beautiful jacket, though. What's with the pink lining of the candy stripes? Well, it's just the lining. You can always have it changed. Should I get it? I hate these moments. I'm hearing the dual voices now, you know? What about the money? What's money? It looks <laughs> wonderful on you. <laughs> you know, that's the kind of jacket that gets mentioned in prenuptial agreement. This is a tough one. Oh, come on, get it. Just get it, get it. You'll have it the rest of your life. What's in it for you? I just like to see people spend money. Oh, boy. Well, in the immortal words of Gary Gilmore, let's do it. I offered them 25. They had no idea. Oh, God. Joy, your phone's free. Oh, hallelujah. What's the matter with your leg? Oh, I think I uh, pulled a hamstring when I stayed in that hotel in Boston. You know how they, they like to tuck the bed corners in in hotels? I can't sleep all tucked in like that. I feel like a mental patient. You know? <laughs> so I kept trying to kick the covers out. I couldn't get them out. I'm, I, don't, I don't know what they did down there. I keep kicking and kicking. I can't get it out. It was like a camp joke. And all of a sudden, snap, pulled it. <laughs> hey, excuse me, I, I, I was waiting here. Where? I didn't see you. I've been standing here for the last 10 minutes. I won't be long. Um, that's not the point. The point is, I was here first. Well, if you were here first, you'd be holding the phone. <laughs> what do you got, a cucumber? Yeah. So what? You're bringing in an outside cucumber? They refuse to put cucumber in the salad. I need cucumber. What have I done? What? I can't read this. Fulman, Hertel, Vom. I got up last night. I wrote this down. I thought I had this great bit. Wait a second. Wait a second. Fax me some halibut. Is that funny? Is that, is that a joke? No. Let me see that. Don't mess with Johnny. Johnny? Johnny who? Johnny Carson? Did I insult Johnny on The Tonight Show? Did you mess with Johnny, Jerry? Let me see that. Hey, where's Kramer? I don't know. That's like asking, where's Waldo? I think I'm having a heart attack. I don't think that's it. I'm not kidding. What does that mean? I think what he's trying to say is that he's having a heart attack. Oh, he's having a heart attack. Mm -hmm. Tightness. Come on. Shortness of breath. Oh, this is ridiculous. Radiating waves of pain. I know what this is. You saw that show on PBS last night, Coronary Country. I saw it in the TV guide. I called him, told him to make sure and not watch it. There was nothing else on. <laughs> oh, the left on. Left on. You saw that show on anorexia last year. Ate like an animal for two weeks. Why can't I have a heart attack? I'm allowed. I could have predicted this. This to the minute. I'm gonna drop dead. Jerry, I'm gonna drop dead. Last time, you thought you were having a brain tumor. Turned out your eyeglass prescription was too strong. <sighs> Maybe it's just gas. I know gas. This is a heart attack. So what do you want? You want me to take you to the hospital? Manhattan Memorial. Less of a line. I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. Just get a cab. Oh, so he's gonna spring for a cab. <laughs> Wait here. Is everything all right? <laughs> well, just take a check. <laughs> you made a mistake on the... <laughs> Forget the cab. Call an ambulance. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ooh. Say, say. If I catch you coming in here with a cucumber, I'm going to carry it home with your hands free. Ah. Ah. Oh. 
Where have you been? Hanging out in the emergency room. What, trying to meet a gunshot victim? <laughs> I picked up this old Reader's Digest, and it had the most amazing article about this woman, Marilyn, who had this hormonal problem that caused her to have this tremendous, overpowering body odor. <laughs> oh, yes. I think I heard of her. Marilyn the Funky Gorilla Girl. <laughs> Worked the county fair circuit. I, I never should have moved that couch yesterday. That's what did it. Anyway, she wound up <laughs> losing everything. Everything. Her family, her friends, her job. Because of the B.O. Evidently. Did they say what type of B.O. it was? Was it like a garlicky thing or a locker room? Well, the article described it as somewhat akin to the first whiff of a circus. Oh. I think I dated her. <laughs> I should have bought the sectional. It was 2,500 bucks. Bunch of crooks. Anyway, I was just up to where she was ready to kill herself over this. They wouldn't let me take the magazine out. Can you believe it? I mean, it's like two years old. They got stacks of them. Well, I can understand that. It's a waiting room. I mean, without a good magazine supply, those people could turn into an ugly mob very quickly. I gotta find out what happens to Marilyn, the woman with the B.O. Nothing. <laughs> Do you want to give me back that Reader's Digest you took from downstairs? I gotta find out what happened to the woman with the B.O. How am I gonna find out what happens to this woman with the B.O.? Please let me find out what happened to the woman with the B.O. Oh, Marilyn, the gorilla girl! She went to a healer who cured her with a special tea, except her face turned purple and it never went away. 